Cheating is not only when you're sleeping with someone when you're in a relationship with someone else. When you start developing feelings for someone else other than your partner, that's cheating, an emotional affair. That's where cheating normally starts from M. Maybe you are in a relationship and you're doubting your partner's faithfulness to you, below a few pointers he or she may be cheating on you. 1. Lying. Lying means to give false information about something to someone. It also means deception. So, when your partner always tells something which you later found out to lie mostly often, that may be a pointer he's cheating, vice versa. 2. Keeps secrets. He tells you nothing about himself. She hides her whereabout, movement from you. You know nothing about his or her next movement. Doesn't want you to know her or his place, friends, working place etc., that may be a pointer too. 3. Hides to answer calls. Whenever a particular call comes in, he moves away from you to answer or runs into the room to answer, he is hiding something. Maybe, whenever a particular call comes in, he keeps cutting it, something is fishy, vice versa. 4. No single text message. There are people that when you get to their text box, it will look like what they did environmental sanitation. You won't find one single message not even one from network providers or bank. I'm aware that there are people who don't like leaving text messages in their phones but also there are those who hide things from their partner by deleting messages. This too may be a pointer. 5. No call history. There are those their call history is swept clean like it's a new phone. This too may be a pointer. 6. Password. There are people who password everything in their phones, message, social media app, gallery, call history etc. Why password everything if there's nothing to hide? A clear conscience they say fears no accusation. Some combine face recognition with fingerprint plus pin. What are you hiding? 7. No touching of phones. There are so many men that have left their wives with a standing warning never to get close to their phones talk less of touching it or picking their calls. The same with many women. When you find yourself in this kind of situation, it may be a pointer that something is not right. Why will you restrict your partner from touching your phone or going through your chats and messages if there's nothing to hide? Note, these pointers may not be entirely true but per adventure you see these pointers. Ask questions for clarification. Cheating is evil, desist from it. It's better you don't go into a relationship. Stay single and flex to your own peril. Your sin will find you out one day, it'll painful.